Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got stories on two solar storms that are already in the record books, slightly more than a century apart. We've also got an incredible paper on planetary accretion from solar wind. We'll check on seismicity too, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we still don't have much in the way of solar flares, but filaments were snapping. A couple of them on the north there. The sunspot situation is developing a bit. We'll keep watching that in case it becomes relevant, but we can see that the coronal hole situation is already going to be relevant. Next one coming in on the left there, been tracking that a couple of days already, appears to be solidly transequatorial. Solar wind amplification expected around next Next weekend. Aftershocks are continuing in Kamchatka, Russia, peaking at 6.8 yesterday, but we also had a 6.4 on the other side of the Pacific, the Antarctic Ridge. Always good to see pressure release way out in the middle of nowhere. First up in the articles today, it's this on the 1921 solar superstorm, which caused considerable telecommunications disruptions. But they also found that while telecommunications are slightly less vulnerable than they used to be, power grids have become more vulnerable, which is of course the main concern since those systems are the critical infrastructure that keeps 98% of humans alive. Up next, the 2024 October the second superstorm of that year. Not only was that one of the outsized impact events that we have been discussing, but it took out Intelsat 33E. Now, I said this back when it happened, but I was met with a considerable amount of resistance because some engineer wrote on a blog that it was probably just a code glitch and everyone believed him for some reason. But oops, turns out internal charging caused a fragmentation of the satellite. It literally broke into about 500 pieces probably not a code glitch. Probably was a massive electro dump from the sun that occurred in the several days prior to the satellite electrically fracturing. Lastly, folks, this one is about solar wind plasma being accreted by planets. Imagine the Earth's atmosphere acts like flypaper and the solar wind particles of the flies. While this paper doesn't advocate or discuss expanding Earth theory or expanding planet theory at all, and while it doesn't prove any theory at all, if the expanding Earth hypothesis so many of you love is true, this paper has to be true as well. Solid work. Folks, tomorrow afternoon we're doing a private live stream for the members of Observer Review. That's our e-magazine. New issue comes out every month and then a special issue as well. This month's special is the private live show on Monday. Details coming to your email, including the upload link if you miss the live show so you can watch it later. We're six days from the next major prepper event at Observer Ranch, pole shift conference later this month, another next month along with Founders Weekend, Colorado Prepper Expo in October, pole shift conference in November. Come on, plan your trip. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. Link to join Observer Review is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.